Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today, AMD is delaying some CPUs. Navi 12 and 14 could be coming early next month, and you can get a custom GPU. But first, I wanted to quickly take a minute to discuss UFD Tech's latest video. For those who haven't seen it, his son has a rare genetic disease and things have gotten really bad. Basically, this is forcing him and his family to move to the US for better medical care. And obviously that, along with medical bills, isn't cheap. So I'd like to ask anyone who's able to donate to please do that. I'll have his Patreon and a couple other options linked in the description. I just think it's important because he's a part of this community and we definitely need to have each other's backs. Okay. It's news time, and first up for today, I called it. A few videos back, I was forced to change my script because a retailer that originally revealed the release date of AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X had actually changed it to, quote, delivery in September not guaranteed. Well, some commenters were mad that I put delayed in the title because it just said delivery. Well, ha, AMD officially announced in their community forum that it's been delayed until November. The company writes, quote, We are focused on meeting the strong demand for our third-gen AMD Ryzen processors in the market, and now plan to launch both the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X and initial members of the third-gen AMD Ryzen Threadripper processor family in volume this November. We are confident that when enthusiasts get their hands on the world's first 16-core mainstream desktop processor and our next generation of high-end desktop processors, the wait will be well worth it. So there you have it. Originally, AMD had the 3950X releasing this month, but likely due to some issues with higher than expected demand from TSMC, they're being forced to delay both it and Threadripper's launch to November. Of course, I'm just playing around for those who commented. It did just say delivered, which is why I changed it, but it's seen a good bit of other stories suggesting it as well, which is why I originally wrote delayed. Anyway, with Cascade Lake X being released next month, AMD could be in trouble for taking a bit longer on theirs. Then again, who knows, it'll almost definitely be worth the wait. Speaking of things releasing next month, PC Games In has a good point when it comes to next-gen Navi GPUs. If you remember, I did a story not too long ago on AMD adding Navi 14 support to Linux's Mesa 19.2 update. Well, a new update recently dropped that adds support for Navi 12, but here's the thing. It was added the day before its final release, and Merrick Olsak, I hope I pronounced that right, stated in the update that it's trivial and urgent. Now, trivial likely just means that it was easy and a minor change, but urgent is obvious. They wanted it added to this release and were willing to rush to get it done. That tells us that AMD wanted it specifically on this release. Well, the next Mesa release goes out on October 15th, meaning AMD is almost definitely planning to release their Navi 12 GPUs and potentially even Navi 14 processors before October 15th. For those who don't know, Navi 12 is rumored to finally succeed the RX 500 series, and it'll likely be called the 5600 and 5500, or possibly even the RX 600 series. Navi 14, on the other hand, is rumored to be a higher tier GPU or GPUs to replace the Radeon 7. What makes this even more interesting is that we just saw a report in my last video that claims NVIDIA is planning to release their GTX 1650 Ti around October 22nd, meaning both companies are likely planning to release more budget GPUs for the masses in just a few short weeks. Let's just hope they're well priced and can deliver. Lastly for today, what do you think about getting a GPU with a completely custom shroud? Well, apparently now you can with the Galax RTX 2060 Superstar. The GPU can be bought at the Chinese retailer Tmall.com and it comes equipped with a clear plastic shroud. The cool part is that you're able to pick between a few custom designs or add your own image for a fully customized GPU. As far as what it's made of, from what I can tell it's likely some kind of vinyl sticker. Either way, this thing is pretty cool, but it's also a bit pricey. The site has it between $34.99 and $36.99 yuan, which I believe is how it's pronounced, and that translates to around $500 to $520 US dollars. With that said, if you'd like for me to pick one up to do a video on, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see if I can. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's 16 core Ryzen CPU, or what about the new mid-range GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.